Most of us have heard of the term tennis elbow, but did you know that fewer than 5% of patients with the condition actually play tennis? Here with details plus tips on how to treat the condition is Live at Five's HealthWise woman, Diana Pierce. So tennis elbow, we may not play tennis, mm -hmm. but we suffer from it. It's kind of like something that you get called repetitive injury. Anything, mm -hmm. fly fishing, massaging, uh, hairdressers, anything where you're constantly doing the same movement day in and day out over and over again, it causes an injury because of overuse. And with the little elbow thing, it's the little tendons and muscles that come up and attach right in here. Mm -hmm. And that's where you're first, if you can catch it right when you first start feeling this little twinge, you think, oh, that's when you need to start icing it. 10 to 15 minutes, several times a day, just a little cloth and ice, squeezing on this little ball. You need These are strengthening exercises, there's all kinds you can do. I thought that was a stress ball, that, that works too? And well, that can you can use it all at the same time. You sit and watch TV and it reduces stress, of course, but mostly you'll see where it, where it works exactly right in the forearm with the mm -hmm. ones that you need to strengthen. Then there's a stretch, very important stretch. You hold 10 or 15 seconds just all day long. You do this when you're thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Or if it really gets really bad, you need to maybe your doctor will send you physical therapy or find a really good massage therapist that some of us might know of some. Hmm. And that have been trained in the protocol for tennis elbow. And then someone might actually have a ultrasound machine. I use this in some of my clients. It's really, we've got great success from it. It's a real deep, it just goes right on your arm. All you feel is a little bit of warmth. It goes very, very deep, breaks up scar tissue, it promotes healing, and isn't quite as painful as the little massage that we have to do. It takes about 15 or 20 minutes. How often can one use that? Usually you'd want to get some, oh, you can use an ultrasound machine every single day, but when you're going to go to get the therapy, it's kind of like going to physical therapy, four to six sessions. One session is going to feel good, but you need to promote the healing over and over again, just like exercise or anything else. The more you do it, the more results you're going to get from it. But the main thing is be patient with it because it takes it a while after it really gets bad because usually we wait till something is just getting unbearable our before we do and something about it. You don't want to not completely get to do what you really love doing. You need you have to rest. You have to let it rest and maybe quit playing tennis or quit playing racquetball or fly fishing or something for a little while and then you get to do it again. It can be healed. The last thing you want to do, you want to avoid surgery. It's pretty rough. So you can fix this on your own. You really can. What about just, lifting weights? Well, you don't want to do anything heavy. Right now, it's, it would be all just very light things. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you can... But it's just moving do, that just moving. back and forth. Just the to stretching move that is muscle. the most important thing. Okay, easy scrubbing. enough. And if folks want to get in touch with you, how do Health, they do so? Healthwisewoman, sbcglobal.net. All right, Diana, as always, we appreciate it. As and always, I love being here. Come home with and me. And we just ultrasound it <laughs> right out and it's life. time once again to pay it forward up next